what we're going to do on this server system, what we're going to do on this server system, we're going to, what we're going to do is um, we're going to use PowerShell. We're going to use PowerShell to add, we're going to use PowerShell to add a preferred DNS server IP address. Now let's check. Let's check your network adapter, your, your main server system. Can you go to your network adapter, which is named uh, main server? Yeah, just uh, yesterday I disabled all of this. You can actually disable the, re the rest for adapter because you remember you're using one DNS server and all of them will be bearing the same DNS server name. Or you can leave them, it's fine. You can leave them, it's fine. Because all of them are all using the same server name as dot one dot one dot one. Is that not correct? So it's fine. Leave them like that. Okay, go to the properties. Now, if you check your property, your IP address is like this. Is that not correct? Dot one dot one two five five. You don't see any preferred DNS here. Is that not correct? So let's cancel. Now, the next task I'm going to do. No, do you know what? Let me just enable all of this because uh, let me just enable them. Okay, yesterday we added more DNS IP addresses. Is that not correct? Yeah? But we can remove them later on. We'll just for testing purpose. Now let's go to the PowerShell. Run the PowerShell as an administrator. Run the PowerShell as an administrator. Then type get dash DNS clients. Then press enter. Get dash DNS clients. Press enter. Now, did you notice he gave us um, so many IP addresses there? Is that not correct? If you notice, it says uh, main server one, its index is number what? 12. Is that not correct? Then you have 18, 13, 14, and what? 15. Now, we are actually looking for main server, main server one. Is that not correct? Main server one is where we want to um, add the 127 IP address. Are we together? As the preferred. DNS IP address. We're just using this for testing. We'll remove that later on. So now type the command. I'm working with task six. Okay, on the lesson notes. So you can uh, sorry, the lab manual. So you can follow me on that. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna type set dash DNS clients server address. Yes. Just follow the way it's written down your on your book. Then space dash interface interface index is one word if you notice on the manual then space it says the x represent the index number and the index number for our main server is what it's just 12 as well yeah. okay mine is 12 as well so i'll put 12 there and space dash server address space one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one so it can be any other ip address as well you can do this on a client computer are we together you can also do it on a client computer now press enter now let's go and confirm if that is there let's do ip config space slash all now if you scroll up to the uh, um, uh, the Ethernet main server one. Let's go to main server one. The Ethernet adapter main server one. If you notice there, main server one, look at it there. Did you see DNS IP address? Did you see 127.0.0.1? Can you see there? Can you see it? Now, if you go to the adapter now, let's go to the adapter settings. Let's go to the adapter settings, double click on it, go to property, go to IP version 4. If you click property, you see that 127.0.0.1 has been added. Yes or no? Huh? Yeah, it's there already. So let's try to resolve the name. So let's resolve the name of the IP address. Let me scroll up. So to resolve the name, we're going to type the word resolve which is bolded on your manual, resolve dash D N S name. They are all caps. 
Resolve dash DNS name. No, not all caps. Only the N is cap, the name. So resolve dash DNS name. Then press enter. Now it's asking you what name do you want to resolve? Are we together? So we want to resolve what? PCE dot what? Local. Is that not correct? So we type PC dot local, we press enter. And how many IP addresses do we have there? We have four, right? Dot one, dot three, dot five, and dot what? Dot four. It said they are all A records. So these are the DNS names we have on our computer system. Are we together? Excuse me? Because currently that's the only four names you have on your DNS. Oh, if you have more, it's fine. Do you have more? Continue, guys. Let's do the NS lookup. The NS lookup. So we we'll type NS lookup. Remember, NS lookup is the command line utility that allows you to be able to look up name servers. Is that not correct? So we say NS lookup space then PCE dot local. Then press enter. Did you see how many servers is giving us there? Did you see how many servers is giving us? It's giving us dot five. Did you notice that when we go, if I ask you to do NS lookup Google.com, Google also gives you IP addresses like that as well. Is that not correct? Yes. Now remember on the DNA server, I added <coughs> dot four and dot five and dot three. Yes or no? On the properties, right? On the DNS server. Is that not correct? Mm -hmm. Now it's giving us this IP address because the DNS server property says that we have how many DNS server? Four DNS servers, which I've already added earlier on. But you, you and I know that these DNS servers are network address that reside on the same computer. Now in a real world scenario, this IP address will be in different servers. Are we getting are we following? Yeah. It will be in different servers on the same network, but different servers, either Active Directory integrated zones or primary servers and secondary servers. Are we together? So that is why it's showing us all the servers that are listed there. Are we are we following? Okay. Now the next thing I want us to do is to uh, let's see. Uh, I had an error with that, so I'm going to skip that. It's to configure the name resolution for forward lookup zone, so that it. But that that particular IP address, um, uh, the server does not exist, so it doesn't resolve it. Are you getting me? Yeah. When I try to do it, doesn't resolve the server system. Then the only thing I wanted to show you was um, okay. I think that's all. So that's all. So let's go to our four eleven. That's all. That's what I wanted to show you. So we've tested on adding the the DNS name. Then we did the name uh, names uh, serve, uh, clients to see how many name uh, uh, clients we have on the system. Then we are able to do the NS lookup. So that's all for now.